Hello and welcome to another episode of Sea of Thieves News. We've got information about a special in-game anniversary event. We're revealing when you'll get your first look at new features in the Sea of Thieves 2024 preview event. And there was one more thing. Oh yeah, Sea of Thieves is coming to PlayStation 5. In case you missed it, we recently announced that we are going to release Sea of Thieves on PlayStation 5 on April 30th. That's right, PlayStation 5 players will soon be able to set sail for adventure alongside Xbox and PC players with full cross-play support. We've got more news about Sea of Thieves coming to PlayStation 5 that we're excited to share, including when PlayStation players will be able to hit that pre-order button. So keep an eye on our social channels for more information coming soon. And in the spirit of looking forward to exciting updates for Sea of Thieves, we're also going to give you your first look at what we've got planned for the remainder of the year in the Sea of Thieves 2024 preview event. We're going to pull back the curtain on several in-development features from Seasons 12, 13 and even Season 14. There's a boatload of exciting features to reveal, so make sure to watch the Sea of Thieves 2024 preview event when it premieres on March 20th which just so happens to be our 6th anniversary. And speaking of that, we've got a special 6th anniversary in-game event headed your way between March 20th and March 25th. Legendary messages and bottles will begin washing up on the shores of the Sea of Thieves. Follow the maps contained within and they'll lead you to a selection of Athena's Fortune loot. Players who can dig up all of the loot from each map and complete 10 of these voyages will also earn the new Sea Glass Rapier. And to top it off, players who set sail during the 6th anniversary celebration will also receive a login bonus of the Golden Sailor Capstan. Keep an eye on our social channels for more information about this 6th anniversary event as we get closer to its start on March 20th. Now let's head over to our very own fountain of production knowledge, Drew Stevens, for more exciting news about updates coming to the game. I'm told if you say its name three times, it'll arrive. Anti-cheat, anti-cheat, anti-cheat! Our next update in March delivers Easy Anti-Cheat, an industry-leading anti-cheat solution designed by Epic that protects a whole range of games, including Apex Legends and Fortnite. EAC is an evolving platform, meaning that as cheat developers make new tools, EAC will stay updated outside of our content release schedule to continually block cheating advancements. The Wizards told me that it's a kernel-level solution, so for non-techies like me, that just means it's really good. For those players on Steam Deck, we've also ensured compatibility for Proton, so you shouldn't experience issues at launch. Our integration of Easy Anti-Cheat is really the first step of addressing cheating on Sea of Thieves. And the team are already looking at further steps to protect our players. More on that soon. As with any 9 out of 10 update for Sea of Thieves, there's always some bugs to be fixed up, and GDK is no exception. The team have been busy fixing up some issues discovered after launch. A packaging issue has meant that our commitment to smaller download sizes is going to be a little further away than we'd planned. March's update is going to resolve this, but unfortunately is going to be another sizable download for everyone. We're sorry to hit Xbox and Windows Store players with another large download so soon. However, the team have high confidence that they've nailed this issue and you can enjoy smaller downloads from then on. We also saw some instability arrive in February's update in the form of heightened game crashes. So the team have been busy improving general stability ahead of our next update. And then finally, players on Xbox should once again be able to play with a keyboard and mouse connected. Now, over to experience fixes. The Shipwright Supplies fix didn't stick in February, so the team are now back on it for a future update. Many players have been impacted by an issue with ship interactions after diving to a voyage or during hourglass play. That's now going to be fixed in March's update. The team have also fixed, checked, and double-checked that the Athena's Fortune raid voyages are now only delivering Athena's Fortune treasure across the board. We've also reduced the threat level on aggressive skeleton ships and megalodon encounters. Now, once defeated, these will take much longer before appearing again. Captains should now consistently see their ship's name on their crest when joining a session. All of these fixes are coming in March's update. We can also see an elevated frequency of sharks in recent updates. 
The team are actually investigating this as I'm filming, and we're aiming to bring a fix out for this as soon as we can. A subtle change also coming in March for Solo C's enjoyers is that we're removing the requirement for Game Pass Core and Game Pass Ultimate. That means that players who play alone in Safer Seas no longer need a subscription to continue enjoying Sea of Thieves. But also, anyone who owns a copy of Sea of Thieves can now return and enjoy all that Safer Seas has to offer without a subscription. While we know the true magic of Sea of Thieves is sailing the seas with others, we're really excited to be able to offer this opportunity to our solo players. Well, I'm going to get back to it. You might have heard our little announcement about launching on PlayStation 5 at the end of April. We're looking forward to introducing new pirates to the seas. Just go easy on them, okay? With our next game update on the 14th of March, you'll find new items to spend your hard-earned gold on in the Outpost stores. Set a course to explore across the waves and take in the sounds of the sea to find inspiration for your next memorable melody with the Maestro ship set. And if your old look is starting to feel a little flat, you can grab the new Wild Rose waxed and floral hair, as well as the Wild Rose beard. And for those looking for something a little more windswept, the sweeping hair is also available. For those with a romantic spirit, you'll soon be able to set sail and spread a message of love across the seas with the flourishing Wild Rose ship set. They say that love comes in many forms, and sometimes that form is sharp and pointy. With the Wild Rose, thriving Wild Rose, and flourishing Wild Rose heavy swords and rapiers, you'll find that when called upon to protect what you love, even the smallest of thorns can sting. And we've got new Twitch drops on the way. From the 15th to the 18th of March, watch your favourite Sea of Thieves partner on Twitch for a chance to earn the Eastern Winds Ruby Flag, Figurehead, Wheel, and Hull. There are new Xbox Game Pass perks for Sea of Thieves starting soon. From the 7th of March to the 6th of May, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers will be able to claim the Kraken Classic Bundle, which contains the Kraken Sails for your ship and the Kraken Jacket, Hat, and Cutlass for your pirate. You'll also get a Silvermane Barbary, the Angry Fist Emote, and 10,000 gold. Now let's take a look at new items making their way to the Pirate Emporium. As well as the new additions to the Pirate Emporium that we've just shown, we're also bringing back the Spartan ship set, as well as the Noble Spartan flag and sails, so you'll have everything you need to finish any fight. The Ravenwood costume set also makes its return from the Season 8 Plunder Pass. These new items, the Ravenwood costumes and the Spartan ship set, will arrive in the Pirate Emporium with our next game update on the 14th of March. And to round out our 6th anniversary celebrations, we're holding a special discount sale in the Pirate Emporium. From March 20th to March 28th, you'll find deep discounts on a selection of items inspired by the legend of Monkey Island, as well as the Dark Warsmith ship set, costume, and weapons. The Reaper's Mark sales also make the return for a limited time. And if you're a little light on ancient coins, you can grab the Conductor Emote for free for the duration of the sale. And that's us for another episode. If you liked what you just saw and you want to stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then remember to like, subscribe, and ring the little ship's bell for all those glorious notifications. Cheers.